Welcome to the ultimate winter wonderland, the wondrous white continent of Antarctica. Transporting us through these spectacular locations is Scenic Eclipse, a six-star ultra-luxury discovery yacht, and arguably the finest ship to ever sail these waters. Scenic Eclipse is like the Starship Enterprise, transporting us to what feels like a second Earth, a world untouched by human hands. And the longer you stay here, the more it gets under your skin. We're only halfway through this voyage of discovery, and I already feel like an Antarctic ambassador. I just want to tell everybody how incredible this place is and how important it is to preserve it. We began this journey in Ushuaia, with this state-of-the-art vessel carrying us across the Drake Passage to the awe-inspiring seventh continent. This week we have one final stop on the Antarctic Peninsula before we head north to South Georgia. We're exploring the waters around Artley Island, a habitat for the Adelie penguins. Oh, there they go. <laughs> These guys are hilarious. No one really wants to go in by themselves. And so they all wait till one guy jumps in to make sure it's all right. And they keep coming back and forth, back and forth. It's terrific. The Delhi penguins are one of the smallest species of penguin in Antarctica, and quite possibly the cutest of them all. They're definitely my favorite. They have that white ring around their eyes, so it kind of gives them a human-like appearance and just uh, how clumsy they are as well. Um, it's, it's just, a, it's very nice to watch them. We're exploring on a zodiac, but whenever conditions allow, guests can opt for an included guided kayak or stand-up paddleboard excursion, offering a completely different perspective. Yeah, this is it's a great spot. Uh, very sheltered. And I just can't keep from looking up and just thousands of penguins just everywhere you look. It's absolutely special. From here, we have a couple of days luxuriating at sea before we arrive at South Georgia. A British colony in the Southern Atlantic Ocean known for its prolific wildlife and incredible beauty. So is it purely geography that makes South Georgia different to Antarctica? Or is there, are there other factors with the vast arrays of wildlife? There's quite a bit more wildlife here in South Georgia than what we experience in Antarctica. Uh, you start with the vegetation, obviously you can see a lot more mosses and plants like the tussock grass. Uh, but we have a lot of different animal species here, a lot more volume of wildlife. But this morning here in Royal Bay, we're really looking for the macaroni penguin. So they're coming right down the hill. They've got a rookery further up the, uh, the mountainside. Yes, that's right. These animals are tough to find, but once you do, it's quite rewarding. And you can see they're using the water here to come and go from the buffet table that is the ocean up to the nesting site where they're raising their young. The ruggedness of the weather and the landscape is in stark contrast to the six-star comfort and service on board. This is Coco's, the Asian fusion dining restaurant, and one of several culinary venues on offer each evening. What are we, day 12 at sea? And look what's in front of us, like, it's... It's quite extraordinary to think they can achieve this in such a, an, an environment like we're in right now. It's amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. You can't believe you're actually sailing through these waters that are largely untouched by humans and living like you're living in a six-star hotel in the middle of a capital city. After the break, South Georgia in all her glory. It's magnificent here. It's a little bit warmer. I'm in heaven. Where did you go? 
Waking up to another day of sublime scenery is standard practice aboard Scenic Eclipse as we glide through the waters of South Georgia headed for Gold Harbour. Now, some of you might be a bit daunted about getting on and off the ship and into the Zodiac, but really it's easy as this. And then you can begin your adventure. So this is our first landfall on South Georgia, and I'm told by almost all the guides that this is their favourite place. Well, why is that? It kind of captures everything in the one. I mean, there's uh, not as many penguin piers here as there would be at Salisbury or St Andrews, which is the, the big ones that people want to see, but this is just such a compact site. And we've got uh, the Bertram Glacier in the background, sort of frames the whole uh, beach for the kings. And then there's always uh, elephants healed here as well. So it's kind of a, it's a bit of a trifecta, you know, with the, with the views, mostly, that captures, uh, makes Gold Harbour so special and makes it our favourite. South Georgia is rumoured to be a favourite spot of Sir David Attenborough, and it's not hard to see why. This place is literally teeming with wildlife including these amazing king penguins. So they're molting and then they're all sharp and look amazing and then, then they breed. So this is all building up to big day. Yeah, and they're all of different stages, which is why we have uh, penguins in the back there. We see the fluffies and then you see molters and then you see really nice, colourful penguins that are their plumage. So their, is, their sexual dimorphism is really out there, so the brighter the colours, the more attractive they are. And another standout here are the elephant seals. Now, tell me about these big boys. Um, are, th are these the what they call the beach masters, or are these a little bit younger? It's hard to tell. Mostly all females. Females. The beach masters have gone. Okay. They weigh they are 1.4 to 4 ton. They're three times bigger. So these are mostly females going through a catastrophic molt. So they'll be here for weeks on end, and you see them in belching and birthing. Uh, they're not having a good time. So they're hungry, uncomfortable, and, and, and a little bit angry. And complaining. And com <laughs> That's probably what that sound is. They're just complaining a little bit. Yeah. This is a photographer's dream. You don't have to have all the kit like I have. You can just have your trusty iPhone because the animals come right up to you. It's surreal. You know, I, it's almost if David Attenborough is going to appear out of the mist and tell us about life in the freezer. Each stop on our journey seems to surpass the last. And after only two days exploring South Georgia, our fellow guests are already completely in awe. It's totally exceeded my expectations. There's something that I've always wanted to do. It's always been on my list of my bucket list. Uh, but the whole experience has left me pretty, I don't know. It's one of those moments where you just want to pinch yourself because you can't actually believe that you're here. It's, it's, it's totally surreal. Even with the overwhelming indulgence and luxury of the six-star scenic eclipse, it's the scenery that steals the show. From zodiac excursions and kayaking to self-guided hikes, each day provides a new and unexpected discovery. Now, South Georgia is a whole different biosphere to the Antarctic. And what makes the trip fantastic is you have days in the Antarctic with all of that ice and the icebergs and the animals are there. And then you come to South Georgia and it's totally different. Now after a big day of exploration, you can come back on board and have a treatment in this wonderful spa. But I have to be honest to say that I'm not really a big fan, but my wife, who is mad about them, said if I don't try it for her, it'll be divorce. 
and actually secretly, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. This is the kind of decadence you would never expect on a voyage to one of the most remote locations on Earth. Join Scenic on a six-star expedition voyage in Antarctica and South Georgia. Setting the benchmark in ultra-luxury cruising, experience an all-inclusive journey of a lifetime on board Scenic Eclipse. Secure your 2023 or 2024 departure today with super early bird offers. Enjoy included economy flights, plus save up to $10,350 per person on selected itineraries. Getaway viewers can save an additional $300 per person off Scenic Eclipse cruises. For more information or to request your voucher, visit scenic.com.au slash getaway. Call 1-300-790-372 or speak to your nearest Scenic Travel Advisor. After the break, the highlights stop in South Georgia. So we're in St Andrews Bay at the moment and this is one of the biggest penguin colonies in the world. Welcome back to our ultra-luxury cruise aboard Signic Eclipse. Travelling in six-star style through one of the most remote and spectacular destinations on the planet, South Georgia. You just don't know what's around every corner. We go into bay after bay. There's glaciers, there's seals swimming. This place is alive. Just when you thought there couldn't possibly be any more highlights... All I can see this black dots as far as the eye can travel. It's just immense, the amount of animals here. We've arrived at what many believe is South Georgia's most prized location. So we're in St Andrews Bay at the moment, and this is one of the biggest penguin colonies in the world. Now, you've been here five times. Yeah. Do you still have to pinch yourself when you get here every time? I feel like I have to hold my tears every time I do. At just over three kilometres wide, St Andrews Bay has a thriving king penguin population, believed to be around half a million. What makes this bay particularly conducive to have such a big colony. Why this place? Well, uh, as we have seen in you know, parts in Antarctica and South Georgia, most of the penguins are very good climbers. Uh, South Georgia within itself is pretty rugged and pretty vertical. There is not many plains that they can actually um, be accessible by these, these penguins. So this is one of them. Is this their base? I mean, they're here all year round and then they go off to fish and come back? Or do they, do they move around the island to different places? Well, this is the, the main base camp for this population. Um, it's true that as soon as the area gets a bit more snow and we have more ice, they will spend more and more time in the, in the ocean. Penguins will reproduce approximately two times every three years. OK. So um, the rest of the time that they are not feeding the chicks or staying here as a resting, they will spend in the ocean feeding. Tell me what's happening. Why are the, why are the king penguins standing in the river? King penguins, they have this mold that is called catastrophic molting. So all the feathers will fall at once and, and it's really stressful for them. They cannot go in the water because they're not waterproof anymore. Um, so they just find a bit of a shelter here, a way to cool down where they have this almost two layers of feathers. And the river is a good place for them. The scale of this place is really hard to get your head around. Trying to photograph it is crazy. It's, there's so much going on. Just deciding where to point the lens and what you're going to capture. I just couldn't possibly do it justice. But we've got to give it a good go. After 30 years as a photojournalist, I can safely say that this environment is the stuff of dreams.
actually like the way our crew sailed is um, starting off with Antarctica because it's like, ooh, Gen 2 penguins, ooh, Adelia penguins, ooh, like the chinstrap penguins, like they're all very cool. And then there's the massiveness of the ice was just wondrous. But South Georgia is kind of in a league of its own uh, in terms of wildlife. Like I'm just blown away by the birds, the seals, the interacting with those elements. I don't think anywhere else I've been has been like that, where you can get that close to fur seals and that close to other types of wildlife, and it's just everywhere around you. After the break, the first ever commercial submarine dive in South Georgia. Captain Nemo, eat your heart out. <laughs> Welcome back to our epic journey on the six-star scenic eclipse through Antarctica and South Georgia. You can't come to this part of the world without reflecting on the experiences of the early explorers. So tell me about Stromness. Why is it so historically important? Well, put aside that it's, it was a major whaling sealing station itself, but the reason why it's so significant now is because when Shackleton crossed over South Georgia and he got to Fortuna Bay, but then realized there was no whaling station there, but he knew where Stromness was, so he crossed a couple ridges to specifically get here in order to find help. And that's why it's so significant, because this is where the rescue began. Scenic Eclipse has more Discovery toys than any other vessel to sail these waters. Not really, it's just that line of clouds rolling in to see the fog. As well as housing two six-seater helicopters, it's also home to a custom-built submarine. Welcome to Scenic Neptune, guys. Good morning. Diving to depths of up to 300 metres, guests can take a 40-minute adventure below the surface. I just can't quite conceive what I'm about to do. This is the first time I've ever been in a submersible, and look where I'm doing it, in South Georgia, right in front of the eclipse. There you go. Welcome aboard. Uh, wow. Scenic Neptune. My God, it's huge in here. Isn't it? I wasn't expecting the size. Okay, I'm gonna lower my free board. As well as being my first time on a sub, it's the first time a commercial sub has ever explored these waters. So every dive is basically a new adventure. You just have no idea what you're going to see every time. Exactly. Every location we go to within South Georgia, there's no dive history. So everything we do and we see is going to be for the first time. So if someone ever asks, well, what will we see down there? We can't give them an answer. We just don't know because no one's ever explored the depths. But with such a rich legacy, there's no doubt the ocean floor has many tales to tell. It's such a weird sensation. You're uh, kind of in this bubble, but I feel really safe. You know, it's, it's, a, it's not, I don't feel claustrophobic. I don't feel in any way, you know, unnerved. It's just a very surreal feeling. Captain Nemo, eat your heart out. <laughs> you know, what, is that a sponge? Or, or is that kind of a tube worm thing? No, a sponge. Oh, Good wow. call on that, yeah. What's interesting too, with the starfish, you can see the tracks. Can you see the rope? Oh, a wow. A bit of history. Wow, the way it is. That braided rope right there. Wow, look at that. That is cool. It's amazing that it's still here. Here, look after that. over 100 years? Yeah. That is, that's what I was looking forward to a bit of history. Our final stop before making our way back to Ushuaia is Jason Harbour. I mean, obviously it's named after the ship itself who discovered the harbour. And it sits right in between major whaling stations. And they found that it's such a protected harbour here that it's a great one refuge for the whalers 
But also, when mail, mail was coming in, delivered to the island, they found that this was the safest place to bring the mail in. And it's still a, it's a, still a refuge today, I guess. It's still a refuge in case anyone got stranded here, that there are some supplies within the uh, refuge itself. And there's a really good-looking hike right up almost to the top of the ridge. Everybody's stretching their legs. Right, especially for the long crossing back to Argentina. But that's one of the things we love to be able to offer our guests. Just take that meditative time and take in where they are. Join Scenic on a six-star expedition voyage in Antarctica and South Georgia. Setting the benchmark in ultra-luxury cruising, experience an all-inclusive journey of a lifetime on board Scenic Eclipse. Secure your 2023 or 2024 departure today with super early bird offers. Enjoy included economy flights, plus save up to $10,350 per person on selected itineraries. Getaway viewers can save an additional $300 per person off Scenic Eclipse cruises. For more information or to request your voucher, visit scenic.com.au slash getaway. Call 1-300-790-372 or speak to your nearest Scenic Travel Advisor. Well, I have to say, I'm actually lost for words. All the research you do, all the books, the documentaries, it doesn't prepare you for this. It's like you're stepping into a David Attenborough documentary. Everything is, is surreal here. I mean, I'm bewildered, amazed, and just totally inspired. Thanks for traveling with me to South Georgia. Next week, the team is off on a Harley adventure in Western Australia. It's a great day out for the whole family plus cruising the mighty Douro River in Portugal. The Douro carves its way through 200 kilometers of arid hillsides and tight valleys to empty into the Atlantic, just here at the port of Porto. Until then, good night.